Hey, I'm Emily with the Wix Collective, and today I'm going to be sharing with you all about pricing plans and how you can use them to make money on your Wix website. So this is a part of the Wix e-commerce series here free on YouTube, so let's just go ahead and get started. So here in, this is my dashboard, so I have a pricing plan called the Inner Circle. So let's click on that and we'll just see what it looks like, and I'm going to show you what it looks like on my site, and then I'm going to show you how to go about adding it to your site as well. So here is my inner circle. This is in the dashboard. This is what I have set up behind the scenes. And here's a little preview of how it would look like on my website. So my plan name, inner circle, this little short tagline description. Here's some of the main features. We have a live weekly Q&A with me with a live workshop training, monthly site audit, access to all um, forum information. Uh, for the founding members, they get $20 off all one-on-one -on -one consulting calls. And then down here you can see that I connect and manage the benefits for this plan. The group is connected here, the group that I have. If someone purchases the Inner Circle membership, they get access to this group. If they purchase this plan, they get free access to all of the events, which are basically the workshops that I have every single month or every single week. And then here, all of the forum subscriptions, all of the community forums is like categories are included within this membership. So that's what this looks like here. Scrolling down my pricing options, I set this up as a recurring payment for $30 monthly until canceled. You can charge a setup fee if you wanted to, you can enable a free trial here. Okay, we're gonna get more into this. I just wanna show you an overview and then go back and work up the little like tiny details of this. So how this looks on my site then on the live site, if I go to the wixcollective.com, I go to the inner circle, Here's my little sales page. If someone clicks join for $30 a month, it takes them to this page right here, the inner circle. This is just what I showed you. I set up all those benefits behind the, behind the scenes in the dashboard. Someone selects purchase. I'm already logged in, but it's gonna ask them to log in. They can pay with their card number. There is accept the plan policy and then click buy now. And then as soon as they are as soon as they become a member, then all of those benefits that we just talked about, um, they get added to the group automatically, they get instant access to the forum, and then I have some automation set up behind the scenes, so they get a welcome email encouraging them to post in the forum and what have you. But that is a lot of information, but right now we're just going to focus on how do you add this pricing plan to your site? and how do you edit it, okay? So to kind of give you a better picture of how this works, we're gonna start with a totally new slate, like a clean slate here. So under here, this is my template site I've been working on. I want to go ahead and add a new app. So click Add App. You can go to the App Market. And this app is called Pricing Plans. And it's from Wix, so it's going to be the Wix pricing plans. Click Add to Site. Again, so great to stick with the Wix native apps. There's a lot of really good ones that aren't Wix native app, but I just personally like the Wix native app because then you don't have to worry about third-party stuff. So as soon as I clicked Install, it's going to add it behind the scenes, but it's going to take me first to the editor, and it's going to add some specific pages here for the pricing plans. So it says here, I've added this app to your dashboard. So now I need to add it to your site. So click add app. It's going to add the pricing plans app and create some new pages for you in your pages menu. And it's also going to put this right here in your menu. So if this is something you don't want to have listed right away for everyone to see, I'm going to move my face over here, go to your manage pages and Click the three little dots and select hide from menu. So here is where it creates your new pages for your pricing plan. So here's plans and pricing. So it's going to create this page for you. So click save and then you can go back to your, I should click save, sorry. You should go back to your dashboard. Show your menu here. 
and then I would go ahead and click home and it might not have it for you right away but go under catalog nope doesn't have it there yet your pricing plan so go ahead and refresh your page and here you can see now under catalog it has pricing plans so here you click start now here's your pricing plan or your membership is what I typically call it it just makes more sense but here you can create your first plan so click create plan let's say this is for the specific grocery store so we're going to say um, veg veggie delivery I don't know so organic veggies delivered uh, this isn't really good because this is more a physical product let's just do like um, I know organic farming community online community something like that tell customers what the features would be so you get community forum access um, let's say farmers um, specialized workshops from farmers um, networking meetups I don't know something like that you could also have like a weekly meet and greet zoom calls okay oops sorry zoom calls not cows okay you can add lots more benefits there or features now here you choose your pricing option so this could be free the benefit of having a free subscription or pricing plan would be that you can give people like a little bit of extra in exchange for their email so it's like you get the free member and you just get some more unlocked on the website some more access but not full access so you could have different tiers of pricing plans as well next is the one-time payment so just say hundred dollars gets you in for a year or a month or you could do recurring payments so hundred dollars monthly ten dollars monthly we'll just do ten dollars monthly and the length of plan is until canceled you can charge a setup fee and you can enable a free trial limit one per customer allow them to cancel their subscription on their my subscriptions page let them set a start date add a policy I recommend definitely adding a policy there because that's going to happen at checkout make sure they understand you know the nature of the product and you know the cancellation policy and what have you additional info at checkout so you can add a form to collect additional info just for this plan at checkout which is really cool and then customize the thank you page for the person who bought the plan so right now we're just gonna do a random image here one I already have just to make it quick save so that is my first plan now just because this is um, a tutorial we're gonna do something a little bit different and add one more different plan just bear with me I know that's not the right look um, even more good stuff is what our feature is going to be and you could do like all the benefits all the features of the other plan <laughs> this isn't very good wording but I think you get what I'm saying at so we're making like a top tier plan you can reorganize your different benefits here that's new so for like years I had to copy and paste and like <laughs> if I wanted one placed above the other it was such a pain to try to do that okay again you recreate payments let's do 20 monthly length of plan until canceled everything else is the same click save so when you go back to our editor and we click setting well let's click preview it's going to show your organic farming community and your top tier plan here 
So when you select organic farming community, please check out on your published site. Can't, can't check out here, but when you click there, then you'll be taken to check out. So here it lists both of our different plans. Let's go back to the editor. Click settings. And then here you can choose the different plans that you want to have listed and you can reorder them here. Change your layout, your display, your text, just like we have basically up until now. So kind of the same process, but that is how you set up a pricing plan on your website. Now, another thing that I forgot to mention, you come in here and you want to have special, this is important. We probably need to have an entire video just for membership area stuff, but here, this is going to be page permissions. You can set up certain pages on your site to be accessible only to people who have certain pricing plans purchased. So page permissions, click manage. You can set members only pages here. So in, well, sorry, that's a support article in the editor go to a page that let's just say we wanted only top tier plan members to have access to the in season produce page. We'll click the three dots here. We'll select settings, permissions, members only. And instead of all members, you want only selected members or paying customers. And here you can select from your pricing plans. So only people from the top tier plan have access to the in-season produce, which is cool because then if someone comes here to your actual site when this is live and they click in-season produce and they're not logged in, it's going to say, I'm sorry, you have to purchase a plan in order to view this page. Another cool thing is I don't have, okay, yes, here. I have to come back to my inner circle like this is my Wix dashboard here because on the sample dashboard I don't have a forum or a blog set up so if you have a forum blog bookings or online program set up then you could have some benefits that pop up here when you set up a pricing plan so some more benefits that you can add you can add specific booking services when they purchase the plan access to particular online programs so if I wanted to I could, someone can have access to the Wix roadmap as soon as they join the online membership of the inner circle. They can have access to certain groups, event memberships, forum subscriptions. So you can even, it's, it's kind of cool because your forum subscriptions, you could have like a free area of the forum and also like a private area just for paying members. So there's a lot here and I really hope that this kind of gives an idea, um, for how maybe you can utilize pricing plans. There is a lot when it comes to the details you need to know about having a membership area in the in Wix. So I, I wanna make videos on that, <coughs> excuse me, and I will, but I will tell you, right now I'm finishing up the e-commerce series, but in my inner circle, we are going to be doing a live workshop this month on everything you need to know about membership pages in Wix. So if you want to know more about how to create a good membership experience, just join us there. We'd love to have you. So, okay. You can find that at the Wix inner circle. Okay. Thank you so much. I will see you in the next video.